I've been yammering on about greenhouse gases for a long time. Most people are familiar with carbon dioxide, a commonly discussed greenhouse gas. However, carbon dioxide is one of many greenhouse gases. This video describes a relatively little known greenhouse gas, nitrous oxide. An article at phys.org published on March 19, 2025 is titled, Scientists Reveal a Hidden, Sunlight-Driven Source of a Potent Greenhouse Gas. Here's the lead, followed by two additional sentences that complete the first paragraph. Quote, the term greenhouse gas often brings carbon dioxide to mind, and rightly so, as it is a key contributor to rising global temperatures. However, a more potent pollutant and greenhouse gas that often gets overlooked is nitrous oxide. Molecule for molecule, nitrous oxide is 300 times stronger than CO2 and is accumulating in the atmosphere faster than expected. End quote. Nitrous oxide is an extremely powerful greenhouse gas. In addition, it is rapidly increasing in Earth's atmosphere. According to a peer-reviewed paper in Earth System Science Data published June 11, 2024, nitrous oxide is growing at a rate of more than 1.3 parts per billion per year. This peer-reviewed open access paper was written by 58 scholars entitled Global Nitrous Oxide Budget, and then parenthetically 1980 to 2020. The abstract contains this information, quote, Nitrous oxide is a long-lived, potent greenhouse gas and stratospheric ozone-depleting substance that has been accumulating in the atmosphere since the pre-industrial period. The mole fraction of atmospheric nitrous oxide has increased by nearly 25% from 270 parts per billion in 1750 to 336 parts per billion in 2022, with the fastest annual growth rate since 1980 of more than 1.3 parts per billion per year in both 2020 and 2021. According to the sixth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the relative contribution of nitrous oxide to the total enhanced effective radiative forcing of greenhouse gases was 6.4% for 1750 to 2022. We provide a comprehensive quantification of global nitrous oxide sources and sinks in 21 natural and anthropogenic categories in 18 regions between 1980 and 2020. We estimate the total annual anthropogenic nitrous oxide emissions have increased 40% in the last four decades, 1980 to 2020. Direct agricultural emissions in 2020 represent the large majority of anthropogenic emissions, followed by other direct anthropogenic sources, including fossil fuel and industry, waste and wastewater, and biomass burning, and indirect anthropogenic sources. The once top emitter Europe has reduced its emissions by 31% since the 1980s, while those of emerging economies have grown, making China the top emitter since the 2010s. The observed atmospheric nitrous oxide concentrations in recent years have exceeded projected levels under all scenarios in the coupled model intercomparison project phase 6, underscoring the importance of reducing anthropogenic nitrous oxide emissions. End quote. The discussion contains surprising information. As you digest the following information, bear in mind that a teragram is 10 to the 12th grams, which is about the mass of a large mountain. Quote, Our estimate indicates that agricultural emissions were the major e drivers of the increase in anthropogenic emissions during the past four decades, increasing from 3.0 teragrams of nitrogen per year in 1980 to 5.0 teragrams of nitrogen per year in 2020. Direct agricultural emissions had a larger increase than indirect agricultural emissions. Agricultural emissions contributed 74% of total anthropogenic emissions in the 2010s, with 56% from direct agricultural emissions and 18% from indirect emissions. Non-agricultural anthropogenic emissions had a slight decreasing trend during 1980 to 2020 because of a higher estimate of changes in climate carbon dioxide, and land cover than previous estimate, end quote. Again, according to the discussion, quote, China and South Asia had the largest increase in nitrous oxide emissions during the study period, end quote. The rates of increase were enormous, contributing, quote, 40% and 30% to the global anthropogenic increase rate respectively, end quote. This is no surprise considering the human population and the rates of human population increase in China and South Asia. 
Okay, so now what? What is to be done? Agricultural emissions of this powerful greenhouse gas are tremendously high. They increased a lot between measurement intervals. Shall we reduce agriculture or stop it completely? Given my propensity for eating, I'm not a fan of eliminating agriculture. Growing food is challenging and time-consuming. I spent a decade growing food for myself and other people. Considering the willingness and ability of a few relatively few people to grow food for many other people, I'm inclined to think more than 8 billion people on Earth can either rely on agriculture or go hungry. I doubt we have many volunteers for the latter idea. Nitrous oxide is a powerful greenhouse gas. As with several other greenhouse gases, it is increasing in Earth's atmosphere. How shall we respond? As a society, we are left with few choices. Few of us will vote for starvation, much less pursue the idea willfully. I've no doubt many of us will unwillingly die from starvation, as miserable as that sounds. I'm left with the same conclusion I've voiced many times in this space. We are one. In every way that matters, we are alike, more than we are different. The global nitrous oxide budget illustrates yet again that a threat we face can be addressed as a collective, that is, as society, or not at all. Sadly, history indicates we will pursue individual actions rather than attempting to collaborate.